Hey YouTube, hey YouTube, it is me, 4000 me, and I'm back. It is January 12th, and I am talking about a subject. Well, first, this is part of the series where I read you something from a magazine or a book that I find really extremely relevant. And I think this year my cause is going to be forgiveness. And last year was about, you know, saving money and not buying a billion clothes. I was on the, um, what was I on? What was I calling it? The No Shopping Challenge? Now I'm on a forgiveness. And so I'm going to read to you, there's a chapter in a book and it is called, appropriately called, Grudge Island. The book is called The Bodacious Book of Succulents by Sark. Yes, her name is Sark and that stands for Susan Ariel Rainbow Kennedy. She has a lot of books out there and they're really, really good. So, all these words are hers and I'll put my opinion at the end. Grudge Island. This is what she says. I keep saying I'm going to write a children book, children's book called a children's book titled Grudge Island. All the people on it will be bent over carrying the weight of all their grudges. In order to get there, you would have to swim through the sea of bitterness, and once on Grudge Island, all you would do is sift through all your grudges. Then I realized that the book idea is actually for me now and for anyone who spends time holding grudges. Grudges drain away succulent living. If you are a grudge holder, you spend time sifting, counting, replaying, and repeating. The ego receives great satisfaction by keeping grudges. It allows you to be right all the time and to live in the past. Mostly grudges appear with similar energy and intensity as when the incident occurred, no matter how many years have passed. Grudges are companions of struggle and blame. Sometimes we feel it is better to have their company than none at all, so we continue letting them live and grow. I'm still holding grudges from childhood and from last week. Grudges become stuck and frozen in our consciousness. Note, this is different from just continuing to feel the pain from something that happened in the past. We can help each other wake up. Find someone you know who holds grudges and wishes to change this pattern. See if she'll play a grudge game with you. When she hears you repeating a grudge or sees that you are stuck in holding a grudge, she'll repeat some word or signal you've agreed on to break the spell. At least it will bring new awareness to this pattern. My friend Bridget used to just quietly say the word bitter when she would hear me or someone else being it. I planned on spending much more time on Pleasure Island, surrounded by the sea of changes. And then she writes, Grudge Reminders. Grudge rhymes with sludge. Grudges have a repetitive quality to them and usually involve some form of the angry victim. The grudge keeper is often not taking responsibility for her part in keeping the grudge game going. And she said, let's swim together in the sea of changes and put our attention in the present and towards our own souls. I love that analogy. Let me tell you, I think I'm, I'm a person who holds grudges because I recount things and I replay it back in my memory. And something Oprah said a long time ago is, you can sit and hold grudges, but then you see that person going on with their life his or her life and they have a zippity doo dah day and you're like well damn I'm over here with this grudge so I'm doing a lot of forgiveness work this year and there's some other books I want to tell you about I am learning to not think of myself in a victim mentality and it is a very very different change of mind and pray for me like today I wanted to play victim like I checked my bank account and I saw what it was and what it wasn't and then I saw the stack of bills that I have yet to mail off 
and I was about to play the victim. I go, oh my god, oh my god. And I caught myself. And I just was like, you know what? I'm going to take some time right now. Stop. Don't worry about it. Don't harp on it. Just be. Like right now I have everything I need to be safe and sound and for another week. Um, I also did something that will you know, take the victim mentality out of my, you know, where I am financially right now. I started to unsubscribe from some of the companies that send me emails about what is the hottest stuff right now. Because I can't buy it. I'm so sorry. And so why cloud my head with it right now? Um, but yeah, I'm working on not being a victim this year. Not thinking like a victim. And it helps so much when you take responsibility for your part in it. And also see that the things that have happened in your life are, for the most part, what you've chosen. If you think you are unlovable, then the world is just going to show you things that are unlovely and that's the filter you have so I'm changing my filter I'm changing my mind nothing is impossible 77 um, I just listened to one of your um, videos today and I am so happy and I subscribed so that's great and right now if you want to join me on the journey of no more victimhood getting off grudge island and to look at everything you held a grudge at differently. Like, if somebody broke your heart, I'm sorry, the heart does mend. But was it, you know, that great of a relationship anyway, if you think about it? So, maybe the universe and, and God and whoever you pray to, Allah, Maybe the relationship broke up so you could take it to a higher level, a better level. Um, yeah, I could go on with many personal stories like, you know, men who I found out they were lying to me. And, you know, when I found out and after a confrontation, you know, maybe that happened because I need to move to the next level. Maybe that was the stiff kick I needed, the swift kick I needed. So I am trying, no I'm not trying, that's a bad word. Like Yoda said, you either do or you don't do. There is no try. I'm not gonna stay on Grudge Island. I, I banished myself to Grudge Island. I'm not going to be on, on Grudge Tri-State either. Um, but it is a, a shift that I have to really monitor. So, if this sounds like you, welcome to my journey this year. This is what I'm convicted in. And this year, that is probably what my platform is going to be. So forgiveness and no more victimhood. See you later. Adios. Bye.